Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we will see network inspection in Android Studio. Okay, let's get started. And as you can see, we have a one application. Uh, I am recently developing this application. This is a AI chat application. AI chat application. Uh, I will record a video about it later. Okay, uh, you open it on Android Studio and you want to see the next network traffic, your network traffic, your network inspection actually. There is a one tool inside Android Studio, uh, but older version doesn't have uh, this these properties. And uh, you have to make sure you download it, uh, you are using the latest Android Studio version. And okay, let's look to app inspection uh, panel. As you can see, there is a one toolbar inside the bottom side. So let's click to this layout inspection. Close this panel. <clears throat> and you have to make sure you, you should choose your uh, currently device in here. And project also, as you can see, my project is base structure. And uh, there are three options, database inspector, uh, network impact inspector, and background text impact inspector. Database inspector for uh, room database, actually, your local, your local uh, database. As you can see, we, uh, I have a one local database in here, but uh, our, we, we will focus to network inspection in here, but I am explaining what is these three options. And also background text, task inspector we have. Uh, for example, you are using the coroutine or job. Uh, there are some uh, background tasks uh, running inside the background threads you can see in here. But network inspector, okay. Uh, of course, if you want to see any uh, object in here, in, in this area, you should get uh, a post request or uh, get request. Let's uh, take a get request, post request. For example, I'm writing hi, as you can see in here. And I am sending. And there are some changes in here. And yes, as you can see, uh, my package came here, completions. Uh, double click uh, above this completion text. And you can see the more detail, actually, I mean, you can access some information about your API inside the Android Studio Logjet, but in this panel, uh, it will be more detailed. Uh, it will be more detailed. You can access more detail. For example, status code, for example, content type or your API URL. And also the and also the API response you can see in here. It is so fruitful. It is so effective. Uh, you can use uh, this panel inside your projects. But as I said before, you should uh, use the latest version of Android Studio. Some older versions doesn't have this panel. And okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.